Hello and welcome to this week's video. This is the ultimate video for stocking fillers for two year olds and I can't wait to share my ideas with you. here I'm Alina Ghost and I am a mum who does lots of videos around mum content from cloth nappies to clean with me and recently loads and loads of makeovers because we've moved into a new house I've got lots of things to show you guys that I have like I've been working on for the last three or four months so I'm super excited to do that if you're interested in all that then please do subscribe I'd love to have you with us quickly before I start on the list just wanted to say that anything I mention I'll make sure to pop a number in the corner to make sure that that you guys can correspond the number to what I put down in the description so that you can buy them if you wanted to. I have a son who is called Aiden and he is two and a half years old now. It's the first year that I'm doing a stocking filler for my son so I'm super duper excited. I got lots of bits and my main thing that I wanted to show you guys are things that are not edible. I didn't want to show you like the chocolates and the sweeties that are obviously going to go in there. It's just I think it's just such an easy thing. Um, sweets and edible stuff like are very much a person related as well like some kids prefer sweets others like chocolate obviously there's gonna be a mix of both I'm also gonna put some satsumas in there but basically I wanted to show you the other stuff that I'm going to put in there first things first and I wanted to put something in there that he's absolutely obsessed with at the moment so those two things are actually balls and cars so we're gonna go into that in a second but basically I got inflatable balls I think it was like a pack of six from Amazon and I thought if I put one in there it's gonna feel like it's completely new it's actually uh, an inflatable inflatable one so when it's deflated there's plenty of space for it so here it is it's a deflated football literally we blow it up and then we play with it but the the thing is like even though we bought it in bulk he doesn't realize that this isn't technically a new one and one we already had in the cupboard but I thought it was a great idea anyway like he's he's only two and a half right and he's gonna be so excited for this ball I have no doubt another ball that I got him was actually a stress ball so this one I actually got from Poundland from Lakeside uh, near where we live um, but basically it's a, a stress ball it does say naught to three but my son um, is very good at not putting things into his mouth recently well recently I say for like a year and a half um, so I do feel like he's going to be okay under supervision as well he'll probably end up throwing this no doubt rather than actually um, squeezing it but I'll teach him that it's squeezing it's like a stress ball um, in case he wants to do a tantrum and maybe it's a way to manage that stress or rather the tantrum or the anger that he might feel if he's frustrated we got these two balls as gifts actually and they open up so one's missing a little hook but I'm sure I'm going to add into it you can see that they're frozen so they're super cute um, I actually like the idea of putting something inside so whether it's an edible thing so like a chocolate or sweeties or something Thing. but later on I'll show you some other small gifts that I could easily pop into here as well but I thought these are great so not only are they ball balls so they're plastic so that they can go onto the tree so the child can look after it and do that themselves so give them that independency and also there's a gift inside which is always fun but also it's also a ball so we can like throw it we can play with it um, or rather roll it don't want to throw it around the house but um, I also like the fact that you can get some personalized ball balls and the fact that you've got that versatility of adding anything that you want into the ball ball too is a really lovely idea but the fact that they're frozen it's one of our favorite movies it's perfect for winter um, so this is going to be used time and time again so it's one of those gifts that's actually quite timeless and you can reuse every year as well put something new into it and pop that into the stocking moving on to cars we're obsessed with cars at the moment and I was telling my friend that actually it's quite funny because it's such a stereotypical boy thing to like yet I didn't encourage it I didn't like specifically say your boy here's a car no no it's just something that he goes towards 
even from like a range of other toys that we've got even dolls so like it's funny how like gender specific some of these are but that's not to say that girls don't like vehicles either my nieces are absolutely obsessed and I popped into Tiger Tiger and found these two wooden cars and the reason that I like the fact that they're wooden is because we've got lots of like plastic toys as well like plastic cars specifically that are really great on like a slide that we've got at home and everything um but i thought wooden are really perfect because there's longevity in it but the other thing is i've been a lot more conscious around having plastic toys around the house so if you do some of your research actually you'll find that um that like old plastic specifically might actually be quite irritating to your child and your child's skin i don't want to go as far as to say it's poisonous i just want to say that you should be conscious around what kind of toys that you buy so these are super cute really little and both of his favorite colors so red and blue are like his favorite colors ever in the past many many months so i think these are going to be the perfect stocking fillers talking about cars i thought i will show you this beauty so i got this from ebay and yes i know that it is i think it is plastic it means that it's a little bit lighter weight as well which is good so that if he does accidentally chuck it around the house it doesn't do any damage but it's a ghostbusters car he's absolutely obsessed with ghostbusters at the moment we've got a toy downstairs that actually we bring out every halloween and it sings the ghostbusters tune <laughs> <laughs> and he's absolutely obsessed with it he puts it on each time he's about to go out and he asks for the ghostbusters tune to go on in the car as well so i thought this is going to be a winner so not only is it a car that he's obsessed with but also a character thing that he would absolutely love so you know uh kids love uh bluey for example we watch blippy we watch uh teletubbies so it could be like a range of characters that you can buy for the stocking fillers as well so i thought this was a really good idea so basically if there's something that they're obsessed with and will absolutely enjoy like a specific character i know that there's loads of paw patrol little like dog characters that you can buy as well my son isn't too much into it at the moment so i didn't want to buy that just yet but they're really great uh, to put into the stocking filler because they're like the perfect size Continuing our theme on like characters and stuff, this is actually Winnie the Pooh, ta-da! Like a stuffed toy, a teddy bear, he's absolutely cute and he's actually second hand. So um, his auntie, so Aiden's auntie, had about four or five of these um, and she's given that to us and we thought why don't we add to the collection and basically if I spot anything on eBay and things like that so Facebook marketplace is really great idea as well I just noticed his bow is off sorry guys but I thought like this one's even got a tag on still so the Disney store if you didn't want to spend too much money on something it's worth having a look at something second hand especially during this economic climate but I thought like if they like characters why not put that into the stocking fillet as well i went into wilco and bought quite a few things that were like really nice really small really festive so this was one of them this is make your own snowman and i like the fact that it's like something that you need to do together like once again it says naught to three but i think my son is ready for this like he's he's three in march so that's literally four or five months away i think he'll be absolutely fine with this like we'll see where we get to I doubt that it's going to look as nice as this but we're going to have fun doing it and the idea is that like we all come together we all have a bit of fun and you know what I'm like I absolutely love crafting and stuff so I think if I enjoy it he'll enjoy it too I basically really like the size of it really easy to go into the stocking filler probably one of the first bulky things to go into the stocking um, and see where that gets to the other thing that I've got in Wilco are stickers um, sorry it's a little bit shiny but basically it's like really Really festive father christmases santa's galore what else we've got we've got uh, christmas trees we've got houses uh reindeers and things like that so absolutely great aiden the other day asked me for some stickers and we ran out and i was so tempted to give him this but then i thought no it's the perfect stocking fillers to put into the stocking uh it's really flat really easy and like 
it's a winner with the kids. Talking about getting creative and everything, um, we've got plenty of uh, colouring pens, but I realise we don't actually have many crayons. I think either they got broken or we don't have the right colours. So Wilco, this is under two pounds. Like most of the things that I've shown you from Wilco were either like a pound, pound 25, or just under two pounds. So like it's really good affordable stuff, really small things that you can add into the stocking without like spending a fortune basically. But like, it's got loads of colors as you can see, like it's got at least, I was gonna say, well 20, 20 crayons. I should have just looked on the packet. It's got 20 crayons. Um, so it's a really good box. Another Wilco buy that we absolutely loved were these three mini bath bombs. So we've got a holly here, we have a Christmas tree, and we have a Santa's hat. They're all mini bath bombs and they're super perfect. So what a great size to put them into baths um, for like the kids to have fun. So Aiden absolutely loves a good bath bomb. Um, we have run out of our Lush because I shared that with him. Um, and basically I thought they're so festive, they're so sweet. Uh, I can't tell whether they smell just yet. Um, let me know if you know but I assume they're gonna smell quite festive as well, quite cinnamony, hopefully. But I thought they were great, like if they're only over a quid each, like they're really super affordable and they're such a good size to put into the stocking. That was pretty much it from the Wilco side of things and I wanted to show you something else that is um, crafty but I bought from Amazon, so I bought a pack of these amazing, like, um, I guess they're like wooden or chipboard, kind of like I know it's snowflakes but it's a set so I bought about a hundred of these there are baubles in there there's love hearts there's stars there's snowflakes but basically the idea is to either have like paper mache we're gonna like color them in using the crayons um, and it comes with these um, strings so that you can put them up on the tree when they're done so the idea is to get these all decorated and super cute painted as well Aiden absolutely loves painting and then give these out to the family so basically every family member will have something fun from two-year-old Aiden I thought that's a super cute idea obviously there's quite a lot there so I bought that set last year and we did some bauble photos so you can actually paper mache like photos on top of this uh, we did on the baubles and then we gave it to each family member so it was Aiden with that family member and I thought that was a super lovely idea but basically because Aiden doesn't remember that and because it's such a big like um, bulk buy I put that away we've not seen it for like a year and I've brought these out so that we can decorate them finally so basically this is only 10 so I've got lots more to do in the next few years. I think there's a theme here because I'm gonna tell you another one where, that I did like in a bulk buy. Um, I am going through a phase of like being conscious around what we use and this one's a bamboo toothbrush. Um, so I bought Aiden from Amazon, tooth, 10 toothbrushes that are bamboo and they're all super duper cute colors as well. So this one's purple in particular, but it means that Aiden hasn't seen them and hasn't seen this color either. So whilst he's using his other one, I thought I'd be very clever and pop one of these into the stocking for Christmas so that it feels fresh, it's new, it's a new color, and then he can get excited over toothbrushing again. Hopefully, I don't know about you, but it's a nightmare trying to get a toddler to brush their teeth. It's obvious to say I like the fact that it's very friendly on the environment, it's biodegradable because it's bamboo and it's a perfect colour for kids because it's nice and vibrant and it's a great purple colour. Another thing that I bought from Tiger Tiger actually is the sensory putty. I wanted to get kinetic sand, which I will do. Basically it's from Aldi, um, we've got one near uh, down the road and basically I just need to go in and buy kinetic sand. I think I bought it for two pounds before. It was really great fun, it comes into in like a pot in a pot like this and it's like sand but actually the consistency is a lot more manageable which is great and Aiden really liked it but I thought this sensory putty might also be a nice like 
um, yeah, great way to the touch like that, like play around with it, make shapes with it and have a bit of fun. Ultimately it was really affordable, like I think it was a pound. And another good size for stocking. Books are a great addition for the festive period, especially for them to have fun, understand it a little bit more. As you can see there's a mirror on this one. Um, both of these were actually gifts so I won't be adding that into the stocking ourselves. However, I am going to look for some new ones and I've heard that the works has some really good affordable options but uh, we've got this one that's um christmas peekaboo so basically each time they open it they've got like the mirror to play with um it's really easy to follow this one and i love this one because it's got like moving parts aiden gets proper involved and it's got like the traditional scenes of like kids playing in the snow and Father Christmas and then decorated like indoor houses and things. So books are always a great way to engage with kids and have lots of fun. So I'm very much looking forward to going to the works and finding some more. One of the top things that I wanted to do and one of the first things that I wanted to do for a stocking filler was to help him with some characters for his castle. We got a castle from our nieces, second hand. The castle didn't come with anything, any figurines or anything. So at the moment, it's invaded by like a whole load of animals, wild bears and things like that. So um, we've been playing with the castle a bit like it was a zoo. So I thought it would be a good idea to actually get him some horses and some knights. And that's what I did. I went onto eBay and got some knights. So this one and this one. Um, really affordable as well because it's second hand. Um, they're like this one's a jouster, this one's like got his sword and and everything. Like they're they're super cute, great colours. They're plastic, I know they're plastic, but I preferred plastic over lead because if he does end up lobbing it, it doesn't break the window. I've made sure that the they're clean before we start using them as well. But not only do we have knights, I'll also show you the horses. I got a set of four horses on eBay again. Look, they're like the perfect size for the castle. I think he's going to absolutely love that. And perhaps like even grow into it when they do make belief a lot more. I've noticed that recently he's playing differently a lot more so more creative and believing that something is there when it isn't so having a horse and these knights is going to be absolutely perfect last but not least this purchase from tiger tiger is one of my favorites so i wanted something that aiden could have hopefully throughout his lifetime um to put onto the tree and these are super duper cute little decorations that are wooden so they shouldn't be broken shouldn't be easy to break um that he can put up on the tree so something that i do want to say there are, are quite small so if your child is still putting things in their mouth please don't give it to them i'm pretty sure this is actually not not technically child friendly but i like the fact that like it was a range of Christmassy decorations and they're wooden and this small I'll give you another example there's another there's a train here that we're also obsessed with so I think Aiden is going to absolutely love that oh my goodness look at this little cute snowman oh isn't it adorable I absolutely love that Basically, if he doesn't like it, I will, and I will put it onto a tree. And my idea is actually to get a little tree for Aiden's room so that he can decorate that himself. So hopefully, he's going to love that too. And if you don't have enough space, I like the fact that you can take these out of the packet and actually do it separately if you wanted to. And even if you want to make it more of like a thing, you can individually wrap them inside the stocking. So I can't decide whether to wrap my presents in the stocking yet or not, but let me know what you're doing in the comments below. 
if I had a girl, I think it would be so much easier to actually add more stocking stuff into it. I would easily go for some hairbands, I'd get some bows, and actually I saw a real great range and Tiger Tiger and Primark of like all those things, like maybe even fake nail polish, that I, I used to get all those things from my nieces when they were smaller as well. So if you've got girls, definitely pop into those shops because there's lots and lots of things to choose from. So that is it for my ultimate guide of stocking fillers for two year olds. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope that you guys have fun actually choosing these items and having like these cute little things in the stockings. Um, and basically I wanted to say thank you so much for watching this video. If you do like it, please do give me a thumbs up. It means the world to me. And I'd absolutely love it if you'd stick around. So hit that subscribe button and the bell as well so that you get notified when each video comes out. There's usually one video every Friday, so I'd love to have you with us. Thank you so much for watching this one. Do share the video with people that you think might find this useful, and I'll see you next time. Bye!